Hey, welcome back to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris, and today we're gonna to be talking about my 1996 GMC pickup truck. Today's video is gonna be about what's underneath this beautiful hood. With that being said, let's get started. All right, guys, let's get this video started. So we're gonna start with everything that's visible. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start from, we're gonna just go ahead and start with this intake. It's just a homemade intake, four inch piping with a K&N filter, uh, 90 degree elbow there. We'll move up to the throttle body. It is a Motion Raceworks 102 millimeter throttle body. Great throttle body, no complaints there, super cool. Um, has a couple of cool features that you can go to their website and check out. I'm not gonna go ahead and explain all that. But overall, great 102 millimeter throttle body. Uh, that's made it up to a fast LSX RT 102. So the RT is the truck intake. So it's a little taller than just your normal LSX. Basically just, you know, gives you a little extra torque from what I understand. Um, then we'll go to the fuel rails. They're just some eBay fuel rails. I have some 80 pound injectors. I'm trying to remember who they're made by. I am drawing a complete blank right now. I believe they were made by fast. Um, but I could be mistaken if I, if I find the receipts form, I will post the information in the video. Uh, moving on down, I've got MSD coil packs with the ICT coil bracket, made it up to some Holly valve covers, red in color. Got the Elite catch can here. Got some uh, really nice uh, ceramic coated long tube headers that I got from Summit. Super nice, don't remember the brand on those, but I'll post them in the video. Uh, I've got the ATI super dampener up front. Super cool, like that too. Uh, also, I've got the Griffin radiator. It's a four core radiator with two electric fans with the shroud. I have no issues with overheating. That is a great radiator so far. It's only been in the truck since the motor was put in, which was probably about a year, has it been a year? Uh, hell, I don't ever drive the truck, so it's hard for me to remember. It's probably been right around a year that the motor was built and put in this truck, but it, this motor has less than probably 4,000 miles on it. I work six days a week, so I don't get to enjoy it as much as I'd like. We'll go ahead and move around over here to the other side. I want to point out something else. The computer that is running this truck is a PSI conversion computer and harness. Um, no real complaints here. You're just kind of limited what you can do tuning wise with this computer. I do have a Holley Terminator X sitting at home in the garage. I need to get that thrown on this motor, especially when I uh, put boost on this engine, which we'll get to that here in just a second. But right now, this, the PSI conversion computer is running the truck. It's not an issue. The truck runs fine with it. Um, but I, you know, down the road when the motor does get boost, you know, the Holley system is a lot better. There's a lot more things you can do with it. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I want to go ahead and dig into what's done to the bottom end of this engine. It's a scat forged crank. It's Texas Speed H-beam rods and CP pistons. They're negative 10 cc. I had the engine built for 15 to 20 pounds of boost. All the rings have been gapped properly. It's all ARP uh, hardware. So I, I definitely wanted the bottom end to be strong and be able to hold a lot of, you know, a lot of power if I wanted to throw it to it. Um, of course, if I do go turbo, this intake will be coming off. I'll be putting something on. Uh, probably end up going with the intake that has the intercooler built into it. That way I don't have to mount it on the front. They're kind of pricey, but they, they work really well and they save some room. Um, but with that being said, guys, I can't really think of anything else. I did upgrade the valves inside the head. When I ordered the heads, I upgraded to the um, hollow stemmed sodium filled exhaust valves are just basically the sodium inside of them just keep them cooler which is good for boost applications keep keep everything nice and cool uh, but with that being said guys that's really all i can think of i hope i didn't miss anything i will go ahead and go over this i put this in the truck it's from it's the you know it's a, a master cylinder upgrade you can get the master cylinder from an nbs which is the new body style so that would be 99 to 06 so it's one of those. It just basically gives you a better feel on the brake pedal. It's not as spongy and it does help with the braking a little bit. So I threw that on there. I will also mention the steering shaft here that goes down to the gear box, the steering box down here. Um, I got rid of the old rag joint and just put a solid bar in there. So lot, you don't get that slot from the rag joint. 
so uh, those are just a few of the things that I've done. This, this engine is made it up to a built 4L65 transmission. It was in the truck when I got it. I haven't replaced it because it's not broke. You know, I'm not gonna go in and fix something if it's not broke. I will rock this transmission until it goes. I haven't had any issues with it. I would like to put a different converter in it, but I'm gonna wait until this transmission goes. It does fine for the motor right now. The motor's making about 420 horsepower to the wheels. So I don't really have any issues. The transmission is holding that just fine. But once we do go boost, I'm sure the transmission won't last long, but I'm gonna rock it till it does not work. There's no sense in going in and changing something if you don't need to. That's my opinion. But with that being said, guys, that's pretty much everything I can think about on this engine. Hey, hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments section. With that being said, let's wrap this video up with a cold start and I'll catch you on the next one.